Stacks on deck, why would I ever lie? Harassment passwords that make your access denied. Your access in the game? Access denied. They said I'm a small fry, so the chain super size. Before Tiger gave you hits such as Rack City, Faded, Do My Dance, Hookah, Swish, Taste, and Dip, becoming a worldwide rap sensation. Special guest in the building this morning. A very brave soul. Tiger! Tiger said <laughs> right. Now, I didn't yeah. realize how much I wanted to talk to Tiger until I got the email nah. like Tiger wants nah, to come I on the show. Before Tiger would enter into a long-term relationship with Kylie Jenner and a massive social media following of over 13.7 million on Instagram and 5.84 million on Twitter as well as 5.4 million on YouTube at the time of this recording. Tiger man rocking the heart of a tiger's teeth. Rocking Power 893, where hip hop lives. I did it for the kids. Before Tiger was teaming up with Chris Brown, dropping fan of a fan the album. And in this situation, since you guys, since you guys are homies, Chris Brown, you're gonna ask Tiger questions. All right. Tiger, you're gonna ask Chris Brown questions. All right. Before Tiger was serving Nick Cannon on MTV's Wild and Out. Fifty thousand for the ring. That's how I get my bling on. Speak on it. Make some noise if y'all wanna hear Nick new song. About a year ago, I almost made an After They Were Famous video on Tyga, but I'm glad I sat that one out. Cause the kid, he's back in a big way. And to think he's been in the game for over a decade. At 29 years old, Tyga has experienced some of the more negative aspects of the limelight. His relationship with Black China, as well as the then underage Kylie Jenner was the subject of a lot of media scrutiny. There were also several lawsuits. There was the highly publicized reports that he had fabricated his past. And then people were reporting that the man was broke. Well, he took it all in stride and it's been a big year for Tyga, dropping some fire tracks with his latest hit being a collab with fellow YMCMB artist, Nicki Minaj. But did you know who gave him his first big break? It was none other than Travis McCoy of Gym Class Heroes, a man he first met while the two were out shopping for sneakers at LA's Flight Club. Now, I actually bumped into a couple fans this week while I was at the mall, and maybe one day I'll be doing it before they're famous on them. Well, it'd be kinda cool. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life and career of Tyga here for you on Before They Are Famous. And of course, this is an updated video. Now we've been doing a ton of updates on rappers recently and we even rolled out a new series titled Epic Before They Are Famous with our first ever being on Cardi B. If you haven't watched that one guys, you're really missing out. Let us know who's next in the comments down below. This video was brought to you by our good friends over at Candy Pens. Now let's roll that intro. And while we do, well, I'm gonna enjoy my candy pen. Oh yeah. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Thank you for supporting me. Haters, thank you for hating me. It's pushing me harder. And um, I'm gonna just continue to support Young Hollywood because they support me. Tiger was born Michael Ray Stevenson and has long stated that he came straight out of Compton on November 19th, 1989. He is of Jamaican and Vietnamese descent. We'll get back to the Compton thing in just a little bit. According to reports, his mother, Passionee Nguyen, she was born in Vietnam. Tyga's father, also named Michael, reportedly had several run-ins with the law and even spent some time behind bars. Now, Tyga has never openly discussed his father, but it's been implied that Tyga did not have a good relationship with the man. He took to Twitter stating, Pac taught me more than my own father, inspired me, motivated me, listened without ever being there. Ouch, that's deep. No shout out for dad. Now we got the nickname Tiger from his mother who used to call him Tiger after Tiger Woods and you have to admit they kind of look alike. At the age of 11 or 12, Tiger relocated with his family to the Los Angeles suburb of Gardena where he would go on to attend Gardena High School. Now a lot of Tiger's upbringing has been the subject of speculation. In 2012, a video was released of the rapper appearing on a show called Bustas from back in 2008. And what he said while introducing himself, well it would certainly contradict anything associated with life growing up in Compton. Grew up, not too tough, parents got a range over, CL 600, doing the big, not too much hard, but I'm still street. Tyga has since spoken about this clip refuting everything he stated on the show. In an interview with Power 106 in Los Angeles, the rapper stated that not only was he straight out of Compton, but he was also somewhat of a loner who was surrounded by gang activity as a child. He stated that he didn't fully grasp his environment until he went to high school and gained a perspective on gang life. Tyga also responded to the clip on Twitter where he stated, when you 14 and a bitch you don't give a f 
about anything scripted TV. Isn't that what we all live for? Ha 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 ha. Tyga grew up listening to some of the greats of hip hop, including Fabulous, Wheezy, and Eminem. He especially admired New York MC Cameron for his trendsetting ways. He noted how weird it was growing up on the West Coast and idolizing a rapper from the East. At a young age, Tyga began recording music onto demo tapes. See, I told you, he's been around for a while. The old demo days. Even I had one. Young money's only California represent past tent future letters. I'm it. You jealous cause of it. Go hide and seek. I'll tag your chick. In 2007, at the age of 18, the rapper released his first mixtape entitled Young on Probation. It was on one faithful trip to Flight Club in LA that he spotted Travis McCoy and they were both shopping for some sneakers. Now, Tag has sparked up a conversation about the greatest pair of Jordans of all time and this soon turned into a conversation about the greatest rapper of all time. And the two, well, they quickly hit it off. Tyga decided to give McCoy one of his demo tapes, not really knowing how big the gym class heroes were. He soon after spotted them on MTV and he began messaging Travis nonstop. Now Travis took the time to listen to his demo and he was impressed with Tyga's talent. He hooked him up with a deal on his imprint, Bat Squad Records. And from there on out, well, the two would get to work. Tyga accepted the offer and went on the road with Fall Out Boy and Travis. He also got close with GED Inc., a label responsible for the GED movement which also helped launch the career of fellow West Coast rapper Schoolboy Q. Now you know. It turns out that Tyga and Schoolboy, well, they were actually homies. And we found some footage of the two together on a World Star reality show, and this is from the late 2000s. Oh, That's what I'm not going to do. Just shut up, bro. Just shut up. Just, just be real quiet. Right. All right? Just be real quiet. All right? At the 2007 MTV Video Music Awards, Tyga was invited to perform Arms Race Remix with Fall Out Boy alongside Travis and Lil Wayne. Tyga stepped up and traded vocal jabs on a stage full of pop culture heavyweights in front of millions of viewers and the crowd went wild. In the summer of 2008, Tyga's debut indie album entitled No Introduction, it dropped. The record featured the hit singles Coconut Juice and Diamond Life, the latter of which was featured on Need for Speed Undercover and Madden NFL 2009, as well as the 2009 movie Fighting. Having performed with Lil Wayne, Tyga soon found himself in the studio with the rap legend and landed himself an appearance on Lil Wayne's The Carter 3. He also found himself signed to Young Money Entertainment. Now, not everything in 2008 was all that great. His Young Money chain, it was stolen from him by two masked assailants. While it was never confirmed who took it exactly, rapper 40 Glock appeared in a video online with what seemed to be his chain. You see who it is. Infamous. You see what it is. Tag eventually stated that he knew the guys who actually snatched his chain and that 40 Glock must have ran up on them. In 2009, Young Money released the compilation album We Are Young Money, which showcased the skills of each member of the group. We're talking Drizzy Drake, Nicki Minaj, Gutta Gutta, Jay Mills, and R&B singer Lloyd. Now, not all of these stars would go on to become household names, but Tyga, he was definitely in good company. With several other features added to his resume, Tyga was gaining fame as one of YMCMB's most promising acts. The song Deuces with Chris Brown and Kevin McCall was even nominated for a Grammy Award. While on Chris Brown's fame tour, he and the crew attended Miami's strip club, King of Diamonds, and it was here he met stripper Black China. Now, before we get into the baby mama drama, well, it looks like it's getting a little smoky in here. You've all heard of Candy Pens, right? Well, if the name doesn't ring a bell, I got a good feeling you've seen them before. Candy Pens was named Best Vaporizer of 2018 by High Times due to its combination of popular technology and flashy design. And Candy Bends, well, they're quickly becoming the go-to choice for vaping in the rap and hip-hop community. They've got serious co-signs of Taka DJ Khaled, Fatboy SSE, Young MA, and Amber Rose. ASAP Rocky, he's got his own line called the Flacco Jody Collection, and Amber Rose has her own signature line. That's why there's billboards of her all over Los Angeles. Now, if you haven't got your hands on a candy pen yet, you definitely need to. A reminder, these are for those 18 years and older, but you can get yourself 25% off your entire order during checkout. A link down below. Now let's get back into good old Black China, a woman who helped me start this channel in the first place. Their romance started off quickly as a highly publicized relationship, because China, she appeared in his video for Rack City. Soon after, well, she gave birth to their son, King Cairo Stevenson, in late 2012. And from there, it was happily ever after. No, I don't. What's up, King Cairo? You're the man, King Cairo. That year, Tyga's Young Money debut, Careless World, Rise of the Last King, was dropped. 
featuring the tracks Rack City and Faded. The record debuted at number four on the Billboard 200, and his second album, Hotel California, it dropped the following year in 2013. Tiger and Black China they split in 2014 after months of speculation over his relationship with Kylie Jenner. Well, it was announced that the two were indeed dating. The only problem was that the relationship, well, it was rumored to have begun when Tiger was in his 20s and Kylie was only 16. And as you can imagine, well, the press went wild. The two made the relationship public after her 18th birthday party. However, the couple, they would split up in 2017. Although some sources state that Tyga may be trying to get back with her after Kylie announced that she may not be marrying Travis Scott. Ooh. Stay tuned for an update. Now, Tag has experienced a couple of legal battles throughout his career. In 2012, two women from his Make It Nasty music video, well, they sued the artist for $10 million each. The two women claimed that he had shown their breasts in the video without their consent. I guess they didn't know the name of the video. He was also sued by a jeweler in Los Angeles who claimed that he didn't pay for almost $100,000 worth of jewels in cash. In 2015, the artist collaborated with Chris Brown on Fan of a Fan, the album, which produced two singles, AO and Bitches of Marijuana. While the album was successful on online streaming sites, it received poor critical reception with many criticizing it for its content involving misogyny, sex, and drug use. Come on. As of 2018, Tyga has released seven albums with his latest effort, Kyoto, dropping in February. The album did not perform as well on the charts. However, Tyga has come back in the last month with his new single, Dip, featuring none other than Nicki Minaj. And well, the song will be featured on his next upcoming album. Honestly, he's put out some good bangers this summer. Also some good music videos. You know, he makes me want to get dumped by Kylie Jenner and just go live that gangsta lifestyle. Tyga, if you're watching this, Comment or just retweet the video. We'd appreciate that as well. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, or you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCready. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel, but you guys gotta let me know who's next in the comments down below. Again, thanks to our sponsor, Candy Pens. We couldn't make all these videos without their support. So be sure to check out the link down below, guys, and I'll see you in another video. Boom! I got money, Tiger, to watch this. All the people that I make videos on end up watching them. So Tiger, do retweet me. Just, come on. I mean, the last one we made was like in 2015. Look how far we've come.